Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the Ken Burns effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So I've already uh, created a new project called Ken Burns. So I'm going to come up here and create a new event, and I'm going to call that Ken Burns. And now I'm going to go ahead and import an image. So I've just imported the image, and I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, entire image here. And normally, Final Cut Pro 10 uh, sets the default length of the image to 10 seconds. So I'm going to come uh, down here to the uh, playhead uh, duration and double click on that and change that to 5 seconds. And you'll see that uh, Final Cut has changed the duration of the image to 5 seconds. I'm going to come and drag that to the timeline. Then I'm going to select the entire image and I'm going to come over here to the crop button click on that and you'll notice that you have a couple options here trim crop and of course Ken Burns this will look familiar to those who are uh, moving over from iMovie to Final Cut Pro 10 so I'm going to click on Ken Burns and I have a start and end position for the Ken Burns effect so I'm going to go ahead and take the end position uh, and put it right there and put the start position right there. And in Final Cut Pro, let's move that right there. In Final Cut Pro 10, you can preview this. So I'm going to go ahead and preview that. OK, so that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And normally, if you wanted to, in um, iMovie, for example, if you wanted to change the end and start, uh, you would have to just move these around. In Final Cut Pro 10, you can come up here and just flip them. And then we can preview that as well. And now we've got the reverse effect. So then when you're done, uh, you just come over here and click Done. And come over here to the progress status. And you can see that it's rendering the Ken Burns effect. Now I can play that while it's rendering. So I'm going to come over here and just play that. And you can see that it's playing. Come back over and play it again really quick. And it it's rendering the Ken's Burned effect in the background. And it's done. So that was a quick uh, introduction to the Ken Burns effect on Final Cut Pro 10. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please click that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate the uh, support. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 or how I created the Ken Burns effect, please leave a comment down below. And until next time, I will talk to you later.